what's up guys so in the previous video I created this function pop which is used to delete elements of the stack and in this video I'm going to create this function display which will be used to display elements of the stack and there is a slight mistake here this should be s b i s p l a y and after creating the display function I am going to run this program now before trying to display elements of the stack we need to check if the stack is empty or not because if our stack will be empty then we won't be able to display anything so with this if statement we can check if our stack is empty or not so if if top equal to equal to minus one then printf stack is empty now this if statement will check is the value of top equal to minus one if it comes out to be true then this stack is empty will be printed on the screen and through this return statement we will come out of this display function because this return statement will terminate this display function here I've just declared an integer variable named I this print statement will just leave two lines now for i equal to top i greater than equal to zero i minus minus Now these two statements will be responsible for displaying the elements of the stack. Now let me explain you how these two statements will work. Let's take an example of this stack. Here the value of top is 3. So I will be assigned the value of top. I will become 3 because the value of top is equal to 3 now this statement will check is the value of i greater than equal to zero yes i is greater than zero the condition becomes true so this statement will get executed value of i is 3 the value at this position inside the stack is 20 so 20 will get printed now the control will be transferred at to this statement now the value of i will be decremented by one so from three the value of i will become two now again this statement will check is the value of i greater than or equal to zero yes i is greater than zero i is two value of i is two the value at this position inside the stack is 15 so 15 will get printed and then again the value of i will be decremented by 1 now i will become 1 and then this 10 will be printed then this 5 will be printed so this is how the display function works this is the end of the display function now let me compile this program this should be print f not print now it's okay now here 3 means display so if the user enters 3 as a choice then this case 3 should get executed and with this display function call the control should transfer here and this display function should be executed now I am going to run this program now these print statements just display a message to the user enter your choice push pop display exit 
This can have statement is allowing me to enter my choice. Suppose I enter one as a choice. So this case one gets executed. Enter a number to be inserted is displayed. This scanf statement allows me to enter a number. Now I enter 10. Then this 10 gets inserted into the stack. This push function is called with an argument num. The value of num is 10 which I just inputted through the keyboard. When this function is called, the control transfers here. This condition is checked. The stack is not, not full at this point so this condition becomes false and these two statements are executed and 10 is inserted into the stack. Now I am going to insert another element into the stack. I have inserted 5 elements into the stack 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Now I want to display those elements so I will enter 3 as a choice. So these are the elements that I just inserted. I have inserted 5 elements into the stack. The size of the stack in our program is 5. So now the stack is full. Now if I try to insert any new elements into the stack then it won't get inserted. Now suppose I try to insert 100 into the stack then this 100 doesn't get inserted into the stack instead a stack overflow message is printed when i enter one as a choice then this case one gets in executed this push function is called the control transfers here this if statement checks whether the stack is full or not now in this case the stack is full so this this condition becomes true this printf statement is executed stack overflow message is printed on the screen and with this return statement we come out of this push function now i am going to delete an element from the stack now in a stack an element is always deleted from the top here the topmost element is 50 so if i try to delete an element from the stack this 50 should get deleted I enter 2 as a choice this case 2 gets executed this pop function is called the control transfers here this if statement is checked if the stack is empty or not the stack is not empty so this condition becomes false these statements will get executed the variable element will be assigned the number to be deleted from the stack and here 50 is the element to be deleted from the stack so 50 will be assigned to this element this top equals to top minus 1 will delete an element from the stack and this print statement prints this line 50 has been deleted and this return statement returns the deleted element because this function pop is of type int and this function should return a value now if I display the elements of the stack then you won't find 50 in the list now I am deleting some more elements Now the stack is empty because I have deleted all the elements of the stack. Now if I try to delete another element from the stack then this stack is empty message will be printed. Stack is empty. I entered 2 as a choice. This case 2 gets executed. This pop function is called the control transfers here 
this if statement checks if the stack is empty or not in this case the stack was empty so this condition became true and this stack is empty message was printed and then through this return statement we came out of this pop function now in one of my earlier videos on stacks when I was creating the main function I told you that I will explain you what this while one loop does at the end so this while one loop is an infinite loop it is always true loop this one means true so this condition can never become false so this while one loop will continue to execute forever this while one loop will never allow this window to terminate no matter how many times I enter values here this window will never terminate because of the while one loop this window can only terminate if I click on this cross button or if I enter 4 as a choice because 4 means exit now let's see what happens if I remove this while one loop element to be inserted is 10 now I'll press enter the program gets terminated in absence of the while one loop the program ran once and then it got terminated by its own the while one loop does not allow the program to terminate by its own because it executes the code over and over again so this was the program on stacks hope you understood the program and thanks for watching so this was my last video on stacks hope you understood the program and thanks for watching